Hello everyone, this is part 3 of our SQL tutorial where we will be understand what is the database and how we can set up. So guys, in this particular series, I will be utilize Microsoft SQL Server and it is very easy to set up. You can try by yourself, although I will provide the setup link in the description for how to set up MS SQL Server in your system. Alright, and in case if you are facing any difficulty to install this application, do let me know in the comment. I'll create a video on it if needed. All right, now guys, let's understand what is the database. So guys, a database is a collection of tables and the tables store some of the specific data in tabular format. Okay, it is typically stored in a computer system that can be used for various purposes such as storing and retrieving information, analyzing the data and making decision based on the data set. All right, now let's understand how we can create the database, how we can drop the database and how we can rename the database. So guys, here I have launched my Azure Studio successfully. This is Microsoft SQL Azure Studio. You can install any kind of application or any RDBMS application. 99% your query will be identical. All right. So if you want to create a database, right? So it is very easy to create a database. So simple create database name. And here you can supply database name. All right. So let me tell you. So simple, let's say create database. And here I am going to supply for an example learning. Okay, so simple you can select this statement and you can execute this button or you can hit on run. So here I am getting commands completed successfully. You can refresh this. And here you will able to see the database created successfully. So right now I am in the database of IMDB. So if you want to switch from this database to learning database or any other database, so you can select from here whatever the database you want to choose or using the command also you can switch from one database to another database if needed. So let me run this. So here you can see the database name has been changed that is learning. Similarly, let me create a, another database. Let's say database. Now I want to create a testing database. So simple you can select the statement and you can run this. All right. So here once you refresh this particular section, now you will able to see the testing database as well. Similarly, if I want to drop the database, okay, drop the database. So guys, right now, let's say if I am going to try drop, what I'm going to drop database, I am going to drop the name of the database is learning. Can you see what what will happen when I will execute this particular command? So here I'm getting an exception cannot drop the database learning because it is currently in used. So guys, right now, this particular database is selected, which is currently in use, and I'm going to drop that. So it is not possible. So in case if you want to drop this learning database, you can switch from learning to any other database. And now if you want to delete this, so simple, you can drop. So guys, when I'm going to refresh this section, and here you will able to see the learning database has gone completely. So guys, if you want to renaming a database, so simple alter database and here the database name let's say testing and I am going to modify name so you can supply here any sensible name so for an example testing 2024 now let me execute this command here and when I'm going to refresh once again and you will able to see so the testing name has been changed into the testing underscore 2024 all right so you need to keep in mind whenever you are going to create the database names. Okay, so database name always starts from alpha. We can use only the number after alpha and we cannot use a special character except underscore. All right. And now guys, another way also we can renaming the database with the help of stored procedure. Okay, so simple using a stored procedure also. So simple execute or you can write exec whatever you want and sp rename db you need to supply your existing name let's say testing underscore 2024 i want to rename with again testing simple you can select this statement and you can run this command let me refresh once again so here you can see the database has been renamed successfully all right so guys, let me tell you once again. So if you want to create a database, so simple create database, database name, or in case if you want to drop the database, so simple drop database and database name, 
and please make sure whenever you are going to delete a database that database not in currently used similarly if you want to renaming a database so simple alter database database name modify name equal to whatever the name you want and in case if you want to rename the database with the help of store procedure so simple execute store procedure rename db your old name and the new name of the database all right so guys that's all in this session and i hope you learn how we can set up the database in microsoft sql server all right so for now thanks for watching and have a great day